Hi there! In this tutorial, we'll show you how you can create power posts that can be added to your website or run as a single web page that are automatically updated with new content. Imagine creating pages for your website that can auto update content for your audience while you're sleeping. Power posts are the smartest and easiest way to engage your audience and keep your website up to date with new content with nearly zero effort. Let's show you how this amazing time-saving feature works. Log into eLink and go to the post section. Here, click on Create Post and select Power Post. You can start from scratch or use a template. For this example, let's start from scratch. You'll see that eLink's editor will open up, but with a Power Post twist. You'll see a source section. Here you have the option of automating your power post with your RSS feeds or your bookmarks. We'll go over each option and the benefits they provide so that you can figure out the workflow that works best for you. When you select RSS feed, you'll see that there's an option to choose a folder or a single RSS feed. When you select your feed, you'll see that your content will start to automatically populate on the right-hand side. Essentially, once you set up your Power Post source, any new content that is added to those RSS feeds will start to update your published content automatically without you having to lift a finger. You also have the option to choose bookmarks. You'll see an option to choose a bookmark folder a bookmark folder's content is hand curated by you, and the bookmarks can be easily curated and saved using our browser extension. Using the bookmark option allows you to be in control of the content that's being published on your website or single web page. You can customize the images, title text, description text, and much more. The difference between powering your post with RSS feeds versus bookmarks comes down to a business decision of how involved do you want to be with the content publishing and updating. Either technique, however, is an incredibly easy and time-saving way to keep your content up to date. For this example, let's select RSS feed and this RSS feed folder. If you want to add further content filters, you can do so by adding keywords to include and exclude. Be careful here that you don't want to make your filters too narrow. If you do that, it's possible that no information will display. You can also choose the display. Best results means that your keyword filters will be applied first and then the most recent. Most recent means the opposite, where the most recent is applied first and then the keyword filters. There's also an option to only choose content that displays images. Once you're done setting up your sources, you can customize your header section. Then choose a layout. eLink offers you the biggest collection of fully responsive layouts for your website. There are layouts based on the number of columns or use cases. For example, two column layouts look like this. An e-commerce layout looks something like this. You can see how the images display fully and aren't cropped, which works great for product pictures, Instagram posts, and much more. If you're embedding a power post widget on the right side bar of your website, you want to choose a single column layout, like Thule or Bagum. On the other hand, you'll want to choose a masonry wall if you're creating a single news page or embedding your power post widget on your website or blog. For this example, let's choose Vigo. Next, you can customize your settings. Let's customize our theme settings first. You can personalize the look and feel of your content to make it stand out and match your website by selecting a theme color, text color, background color, heading font, 
and body font. Once you're done, click on Customize Links. There's an important field that you should know about called Max Links. This field allows you to choose the maximum number of links displayed. This is important when you're creating a page or embedding content on your website so that your content doesn't continue to grow beyond the space or scroll area you want for your audience. You can also customize the button text. There's also an option to make your content SEO friendly or private. Private content can't be crawled by search engines. Now that we're done, let's click on the preview icon on the top bar to see how our page looks. Everything looks perfect. Let's exit the screen and publish our post. You'll see the various ways that you can share your e-link page. You can share it with your world as a single web page. You cannot share power posts via newsletter as the content changes so frequently. However, you can embed it on your website or blog. Next, let's show you how your power posts will look like on your website or blog. Here's an example of how a masonry wall looks. Here's an example of how a right side widget listing looks. Here's another example of how a right side widget card looks. And here's a final example of how a widget looks in the body of your page. To help you recap, we have a couple quick tips for you. Remember, if you choose to create an RSS feed power post, your content will automatically update without you having to do a thing. If you choose to create a bookmark power post, that content will automatically update anytime you save a bookmark from your browser extension and add it to that bookmark folder. Let's show you quickly how that works. First, you'll want to install eLinks extension from the Chrome Web Store or Firefox browser add-ons. The Chrome extension can also be used on the Edge browser and Brave browser. All browser extensions will look and work the exact same way once they're installed. Once your eLink browser extension is installed, click on the eLink icon. Choose an image that best represents the content. You can click on the pencil icon to update the title, description, and image. Click Save once you're done perfecting your content. You'll see that your bookmark has been automatically saved to the unsorted folder. Click on Unsorted and select the bookmark folder that is connected to your power post. Select that folder and click Done. And that's it. Your newly added bookmark will update your PowerPost published content 10 minutes after you've saved it to your bookmark folder. Creating website content has never been easier. To learn more about eLink, go to our eLink Academy and watch our other videos to start bookmarking and creating content with web links in minutes.